hi you guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here my name is mary and for today's video i really wanted to do a try on and review on the anastasia beverly hills cream bronzer in the shade caramel this is my fir very first time using it and i wanted to share with you guys what it looks like and how i apply it i usually use my uh two phase concealer and toffee but i really wanted to give this one a try uh, I wanted to change it up a bit and I've heard good things about this one and I'm so anxious to put it on and you guys, for you guys to see uh, what it looks like. So if you're interested in seeing what it looks like as well, if you've been wanting to purchase one yourself and uh, just please keep on watching. So I'm going to go ahead and read what it says in the bag. It's a weightless cream bronzer for face and body that creates a natural matte finish. I'm glad it's matte because I don't want any shine where I'm going to obviously contour because that's what I'm going to use it for and they did come out with six shades and I got in the shade caramel it's the closest to my concealer that I'm using at the moment as you can see so the price for this cream bronzer is $35 you guys and you do get one ounce the shelf life will be up to 12 months i'm gonna be using my Too faced concealer you guys in the shade golden beige i'm gonna conceal first and then i'm gonna apply the cream bronzer after With my damp beauty blender you guys i'm gonna go ahead and blend everything out So now you guys, I'm going to go ahead and try it out using my Morphe E63 brush. I'm just going to go ahead and tap it in you guys very, very gently. I'm going to grab a little bit more you guys and I'm going to put some on my forehead. really do love the color and I feel like it's going on really nice love how it looks it looks so smooth I'm obviously gonna go over it with my blender just a bit I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye with the one size translucent powder I'm not gonna do any powder bronzer on top you guys I'm just gonna leave it like that because I really want to see what it looks like and I feel like if I put bron uh, powder bronzer on top, it's just kind of like, it's going to take over the shade that I put on and I don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to my eyes and I'll be back and show you guys what it looks like with the final makeup. Okay, you guys, so this is what the bronzer looks like. I absolutely love how it looks. It went on really nice with my foundation. It feels really good on my skin. It doesn't feel heavy or anything. It, I didn't put any powder bronzer on top because i really just wanted to see what this shade of bronzer looks like on me but i am digging it i could probably go a shade up and get away with it um i am gonna give it a try i'm gonna purchase this shade up and see what it looks like as well if you did watch my video to the end thank you so much for watching um don't forget to please like this video subscribe to my channel if you're not and i'll see you guys in my next video bye